Tough news for 2019 as we now know more information about the record setting vaping crisis. During the last year, the CDC reports 54 people died and more than 2,500 were put in the hospital nationwide this year due to vaping related injuries. Now, new cases are still being reported weekly. This morning, two works for used Del Puente shows us what a single puff could do to your lungs. Cardiac surgeon Lucian Durham says inhaling a single puff from a vape could make you his next patient. The lung damage he's seen in patients ranging in age from 16 to 60 is the equivalent to someone smoking cigarettes for decades. It literally can kill you the first time you try it. He says the liquid chemicals are the culprit. When they are all flash heated at once, no one can predict what you're about to breathe in. The unsafe ingredients may even sound harmless, like vitamin E oil. When you inhale it, it goes down and basically coats the alveoli. Those are tiny sacs of the lungs, which are crucial in your breathing. If that's coated, the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide cannot happen. So you get low oxygen and high CO2 and the high carbon dioxide in the blood turns into acid. Your body does not function well in an acidic environment. That causes an inflammatory response in your body called acute respiratory distress syndrome. They deteriorate very quickly, get short of breath, lightheaded, pass out, cardiac arrest. We've had a couple of them show up getting CPR because it's gotten so bad. And you end up on this scary machine until your body can safely breathe on its own again. We've had some patients come in that literally looked like they were going to die before we got them on support. He says a common myth is that patients only end up like this if they are vaping with THC, the chemical in marijuana that gives users a high. No, there's really no one particular substrate that causes it. That unpredictability is why he and health officials are warning that there is no safe way to vape. Jitzel Puente, two works for you. The surgeon says he won't be able to tell if irreversible lung damage has been done on the patients he's treated for at least another six months to a year.